from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Many of us had feared that the infamous Loch Ness Monster, who definitely totally exists and is unquestionably a real thing, had died, as there have been no sightings for eight months. Well, we can all breathe a sigh of relief as new footage shows that Nessie is indeed alive and well. In the video and accompanying photos, Nessie's long neck and head is seen gliding through the water, barely causing a ripple as a boat passes by. Nobody on the boat seems phased by the appearance of the legendary creature. Hey, you know what else is not phased by passing boats? Logs. A woman in Colombia recently ate her entire $9,000 life savings in order to stop her cheating husband from getting his hands on the money. Doctors were able to recover a good portion of the money from her stomach, and the woman then tried to pay them with that cash. Over in China, a computer technician who stole and drank a colleague's breast milk says he only did it because he was stressed out. All right, well, maybe we could believe that if he hadn't already sent the woman anonymous messages bragging about drinking her milk, and then more messages with what we'll call uh, Anthony Weiner style pictures. The milk in question was being stored in the woman's office refrigerator, and the suspect is a co worker. The good news is the guy was arrested, and now a judge will deal with him. Apparently, grand theft memory juice is a thing. The Marlar House mobile app is now available, and it's free. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, watch Marlar House YouTube videos, check out the t-shirts, mugs, audiobooks, and other stuff in the Marlar House store, see what's in my blog, and more, all in one app. And it's free for iOS and Android users. Download it now at MarlarHouse.com slash mobile. There's a rumor that there's already tension between Kelly Ripa and Ryan Seacrest. All right, business rule number one, never hire a co-worker who requires just as much mirror time as you do. Facebook is testing a new group phone call feature that will let you talk on the phone with up to 50 friends at once. Not real friends, though. I mean, that would be for people who are kind of your acquaintances or just an acquaintance of an acquaintance whom you don't mind seeing pics of your baby or what you're having for dinner that night in their newsfeed. Real friends, they already have your phone number. Five great white sharks were spotted off the California coast this week. They probably heard about that Santa Clarita diet. Steve Harvey apparently doesn't want any underlings talking to him. The longtime talk show host has allegedly circulated a memo to staff that instructs them, among other things, to not come to my dressing room unless invited and to not approach me while I'm in the makeup chair unless I ask to speak with you directly. Oh, yeah, also, don't stare at my teeth because the glare will blind you! Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. For May 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. The CEO of Sears is blaming the media for the store's economic problems. You know, I think that their customers just aren't spending enough. Both of their customers. So, you think America's ready for President Rock? In a new profile of Dwayne Johnson in GQ, the wrestler-turned-movie star talks about his possible future in politics. It all started with an opinion piece in the Washington Post last year that stated Johnson could be an actual presidential candidate. At the time, Johnson called the idea fun to read, but now he says he's been giving it some serious thought, saying, I think it is a real possibility. All right, now, while I do think this is almost as ridiculous as what we currently have in D.C., I must admit it would be kind of cool to see President Dwayne Johnson pick up the phone to talk to Kim Jong-un and say, can you smell what The Rock is cooking? Cuba has opened its first luxury mall. But then it's Cuba, so it might just be our version of a dilapidated shopping strip. Right now, you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur by visiting MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff. Grow deeper in your knowledge of the one true God. Get the book free right now at MarlarHouse.com slash free stuff. Or click the free stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Offer expires June 2nd. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!